We'd like to start today's video with a big thank you to our very generous patrons. We would especially like to thank one of my most recent patrons, Vince S. Thank you so much for your support, Vince, and I look forward to hopefully flying with you at a Skunkworks event in the near future. With no new word from the Alexandria this week, as it remains on the edge of the bubble, the skunks have remained in the Corsac Nebula and have travelled from Hanu Arena to Coal Point Starport and continue to hold defence of the surrounding space while evacuations are underway. The Thargoid threat level has been steadily dropping in the nebula since our arrival though, and has recently hit a marginal presence around Coal Point. This meant that our wing patrols, operating from the rescue ship sent to Coal Point, were running into far more Basilisk Cyclops combos and scouts, quite comfortable for our pilots at Skunkworks to handle freeing up pilots to help with logistical support of local factions on top of their regular combat missions. This was no time for complacency though, and so every target was still met with concentration and determination. Galsian? Oh, Mortis, are you doing purpose? Or... Yeah, for sure I am. I have an open mic, so you'll see me mute and unmute a lot. Oh, interceptors. And looks like a basilisk. And I don't know the other one yet. I can't target it. They haven't even jumped in yet. I know, but I have one on menu, so I can tell you 100%. Yes. I got one basilisk targeted right now. Right there. Message. Blocking. Oh, yeah. Blocking. Okay. Block complete. The other one is a Cyclops. I have the swarm targeted. Going in on the bus this time. Hot step. That's gone, good work. Down on the yeah, hot scum. Hearts out on Bassy. Excellent. <laughs> Hearts down on Bassy. Shields still up, yeah. Go down pretty quick, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. About to crash right now. Here we go. Hard tip. Oh, it's gone. Switching back to Bassy. Is that just still in lightning mode? God damn it. It's amazing. <laughs> Down. Okay. Good work. He's off third heart. He's off third heart. Yeah, EMP. EMP's what. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get EMP. Oh, wait. Hard up on the clubs? Ah. Uh, shield. Shield's Get ready. Yep, surge. Blocking. Okay. Shield just crashed on the Cyclops. You got it. Yeah, energy. you got it. Okay. Good work. Yeah, it's dead. Back on the bossy. That bass sounds good. Just them. I thought I had back up. Yeah. <laughs> Really 
shoot them. Yeah, come here. EMP. Where to? Search. Fight, guys. <laughs> we had us down the wire. We return to the rescue ship to turn in our bonds. We have been favoring the rescue ship near the starport for the missions handed out by the local factions. Our continuing defense of the system has also steadily been contributing to our position on the AX leaderboard, and I am amazed by the bond count turned in given the small size of our squadron. But the rescue ship's main function is for the population of Cold Point to shelter aboard, as the station itself is in extremely damaged condition. And given the lighter combat load at the time, we could commit pilots to assisting with these efforts, heading into the station itself to bring people to safety. I had not flown my python, paper cut, in a long, long time. Long enough that it still carried the tags of my very first squadron, AXDF. But nonetheless, it was a serviceable rescue ship and we were going in. Back on combat patrols, it was ever more Basilisk Cyclops combinations we were running into. So, how are the targets here? Anomaly, yeah. Oh? Oh, yeah. Okay, I got one right now. Not quite here yet, though. There it is. Here we go, intercept is coming in. And also in Odyssey, you don't really get names in the uh what's it called? Third looking. But even the lesser goids can surprise you sometimes. Hey. Okay. Oh. 
Oh god damn, late, late one. Keep, uh, I, I, oh. I have a fucking like, <laughs> listening device in my... Well, in the words of Kate, they should kill guys. <laughs> As in bite, whatever. First heart and basilisk, basilisk is down. Moving around to look at that clock. Second part of the other basilisk. Wait, is that a basilisk? Yes. That's, uh, no, that's a clock. Okay, heart's gone, it pops. I just hit up search. Okay, I think she'll sell on Bossy, I think. It's done. Then no. then they knocked me out, so. Is that a late, I mean, a late effect or did you get in? No, I got in right before they pulsed, and then <laughs> when I got in, they pulsed me. Yeah, yeah so I fell asleep. It, at least I'm here. Yeah. Like, I can see you guys lighting over there. Hot step. Hot scum. How's that club soon? Oh, it's gone, bandage shots. Oh, and blew it, yeah, I'll, I will get you into a ring now. Shields down the bottom. That's it. Okay, blew it, we need a bike coming. And, uh, perfect. No, wait. It didn't accept what's coming. Uh, Alex, can you try sending what's me the invite? Going on? Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay, got, I got that one. Okay. And later I would join another Skunk Works pilot, Commander Centurion 04, aboard his Federal Corvette for some more rescue runs. Are you an experienced rescuer? Um, I did a little bit of grinding, of like rank grinding, like way back. Uh, when it was like incursions every week. Commander Centurion 04 was also taking missions from the rescue ship to recover cargo items from the damaged dock. And there's a ton of stuff that floats around. The scanner's going nuts. Uh, personal effects, yeah. There's lots of stuff. Um, are there any materials? Yeah, I think it's mostly for mission stuff. Right. Because so weird seeing them. Um... Limpets out in the in the dark. A <laughs> few passengers then head over to the uh, rescue ship. All right, put a full load. And following on from this example, I decided to fit up my Corvette for rescue duty and come join Commander Centurion 04. The large size of the Corvette meant greater numbers of passengers could be rescued on each run. I, I went ahead and cleared. I just cleared my fine, so I'm heading back to the point. Though for larger ships, the debris of the dock can pose additional maneuvering difficulty.
Okay, I'm docking now. Explosions are always interesting, the ones that kind of like knock you off course, you know? We would head out several times to evacuate as many as we could. No, I'll catch up. Sorry. Okay. Uh, oh, God, what the Ooh. hell? Alright, oh, <laughs> what the hell? It's drifted like so far. I'm gonna pop up for like the again. I'm just gonna let the collector with its run. Oh, you sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're just. It's two Corvettes chilling in a station. Chilling in a third <laughs> station. Wasn't looking at the sensors. Wasn't looking at the sensors. Okay, let's see. Explosion just knocked me well off the pad. Exactly what this is. This is our slash and tunnel. This is our slash and tunnel passengers. Okay. All right, just left. Yeah, I'm right behind you. During the mail slot. With the Thargoid threat now down to marginal, it won't be long before Operation Idea can move in to begin repairs here. But we've saved a few people from the dangers of the burning station in the meantime, and of course, our streak of easy Thargoids would come to an end. Thargoid numbers are down, but they still have the heavy hitters in reserve, with Hydra starting to intercept our patrols again. There it is. Um, I don't see the heart. Moving into range, I see it. I do. It's like, you hear the coverage. And like, another like... It's oh, a hell of a shot, whoever that was. I didn't have angles. That was an upshot, too. He swung. Feels like they're about to go down. They should be coming down. Probably okay, about now. Yeah. Nope. 
made like the exertion noise. Bro, same heart is still exert heart is still up, heart is still up. Missile formation on me. Okay, break it off. Bring it out. There we go. Good work. Hi. Sack, the pilots of humanity were pushing back the last of the Thargoid invaders, but they would not go out without a fight, and one final battle would await us as we pushed towards the final defensive target, the aptly named new station Fort Zeno. 